my life has a bit of a routine right now. It's early nights and early mornings, it's breaking bad habits and forming new, better ones. And I'd say, I don't know, I'd say I'm in a stage in life where I'm building and learning to life. Don't know if that stage ever ends. <laughs> and this stage of my life is so ridiculously beautiful. Like, I get to work as a doctor, as a medical doctor, and train my most beloved sports of athletics. I get to fellowship with church friends and travel-ish <laughs> and live in a lovely flat. <sighs> yeah, every now and then, there's a temptation to not despise it, but to just like wish for the next stage, to feel stagnant and bored, as though like every time I bump into an old friend and they say, oh, what have you been up to? And I say, oh, you know, same old. It's like I wanna be able to say something else. And it's so crazy how we can be tempted to despise the things that we once prayed for. You know, sometimes due to comparison, sometimes it's just because we tend to focus on the bad, no matter how tiny it is. Um, it's like as humans, we have this tendency to romanticize the past, glorify the future, and neglect the present. And this sucks, because the only thing we'll ever live in is the present. So if we don't make a conscious decision to change that habit, then we can go through our whole lives in one static season of neglect, and that sucks. So this video is a little day in my life, but also, I don't know, I want it to be like a conscious appreciation of my gratefulness. Grateful for shelter and for warmth and for routine and for time to focus on developing aspects of myself that in future I might not be able to prioritise. Um, I'm grateful for the terrifying limbo of locum doctor life and a wannabe athlete, <laughs> which I don't know, I can just see myself missing that terrifying limbo. So I'm going to be grateful for it while it exists. Um, I actually started this habit of writing down my gratefulness. So I write about four things, gratefulness, testimonies, like answers to prayers um, and prayers, new prayers and intentions for the day. So while I've always known about the whole count your blessings every day thing, there is something oh, just freeing and, and solidifying about physically writing them down, the first thing that you do every day. And I can't tell you how many times, um, you know, I've had an item move from my prayer column to my testimony column, and that's just amazing. Um, it's like instead of starting my day with the accidental scroll through a crippling feed of comparison. <laughs> I started with a thankful heart and I focus on God's love and I'm reminded that he's here with me every day, daily. Daily he's here with me and he's given me so much to be thankful for. So, yeah, I love this routine so much. I love my morning routine so much that I didn't actually want to pause it when I was filming this <laughs> to talk to the camera. Thus, the voiceover. Sorry, my bad. Um, but it's helping my heart a thousandfold and it's helping me to embrace this season. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll just, we'll just carry on with the video. going I feel like I should finally introduce this video like I've tried to do several times before but failed let me just catch you up on the previous attempts at an introduction to this video are you ready good morning friends sorry about that I went to film the intro to this video and then um, my camera fell and so I thought that intro is a bit of a fail. Let me just show you what I've done today so far. So I'm just stopping for lunch quickly. I've done most of my jobs for the morning, just waiting on a few investigations to come back. Um, so I thought I would steal away for five minutes and have a super quick lunch. So it is half 11 now, which I know is a bit early for lunch, but given that I'll have training after work um, at about half one, two, it's actually like the perfect time to eat. Um, so yeah, I've been working for about, what, four and a half hours now. So just gonna pause and eat something and then get back to work. So yeah, it's been a good morning actually. It's felt really productive. I feel like I've solved, you know, gotten a lot of things done with minimal 
obstruction, which is always good. Not that many like interesting cases, to be honest. Um, there are a few interesting ones from yesterday, which I want to follow up. So that's the thing about acute medicine is that you kind of deal with people on the front door, but then the follow up, I don't know, I just have to kind of read what someone else has written on a discharge summary or, you know, to know the conclusions and how the patient got on. Um, I've actually followed patients to the ward sometimes to see how they got on. But yeah, I can't talk long, that's all I have to say because I need to get back to work and I need to eat quickly. So this is my lunch, it's like a mascarpone cheese thing, um, so it's like this Edmund Bean pasta which tastes so so good and is like so good for you. And then with a mascarpone cheese and tomato sauce and it's literally just one of my favourite meal preps that I've ever made, it tastes so good. Just finished work now, it is quarter to two, um, which is quite good, so we've only finished 45 minutes late, in fact 40 minutes late because I did stop off at WH Smith to buy some sweets which I shall explain shortly. Um, so yeah, I, work was fine, work was good, I'm just going to head straight to the track. The reason that I picked up these sweets was because I do find that during my sessions, um, you know, I'll probably be training for the next like four hours, sometimes I get hungry again and so just having some jelly baby, some sweets as a sugar boost and a protein bar as well have the protein bar between my track session and my gym session but just having some food during training it helps me to stay strong and stay energized um, and I'm not out here trying to starve myself so yeah the difference I guess I maybe I should film a new morning routine video for you guys because it like things have changed a lot like my training is no longer just for health and you know enjoyment I really want to run fast I want to learn to hurdle quickly and excellently um, so so I am coaching myself. <laughs> I did work with a coach last year. Um, but with work, it's just difficult. Like, for example, today I finish an hour late, but there's sometimes when they're really busy and they ask me to stay till three. Um, sometimes when I'm not doing this shift pattern, I'm on 9 a.m. till 10 p.m. Basically, because my work is so unpredictable in terms of when it is or has been so unpredictable, it's difficult to know when I can definitely meet a coach. And if I am last minute cancelling training sessions, then it just equates to an inconsistent program. So by coaching myself at the moment, um, it's not, it wouldn't be my first choice. I would love to have an experienced amazing coach who could tell me what to do um, and watch my technique and things like that but by coaching myself I'm just allowing myself to be consistent and you know I've been off athletics for about 10 years <laughs> but I've been you know I do know quite a bit I would say not as much like I don't want to pretend like oh I know everything and I want to coach myself I definitely want to coach but I've written my program I know what my goals are and, and it feels good so far I'm trusting God I'm praying that it goes well but it does feel good so far you know when I have had to stay late and miss a session it's easy to rearrange it it's easy to to know right I've missed that so I can do this here and I can juggle things about without you know having to kind of fit that in with someone else's schedule so that's really helpful but anyway I'm going to talk myself into being late and I've got a lot on today sorry I've, I've got work today I've got training I need to get home and write my talk for tomorrow I'm doing a talk at the university I'm doing a talk there so I need to do that and then I've got my small group tonight so then I'm going to a friend's for dinner and it's the first of our small groups so in church in my church we have this thing called small groups where you just kind of meet up with people your age and chat through life talk about the sermon on Sunday and just do life together and it's great I'm really excited about it. Um, so I don't really have time to be sat here, um, not moving. So I need to get to training and yeah, I guess I will see you at the track. Although I'm kind of hungry now. I'm just going to eat half my protein bar. I'm going to eat half now or just like a bite, just a bite. And then the rest after my track session. So no, okay. I honestly think that I can make a better one. I just haven't made any for a while, so I need to make my own protein bars. Mine are pretty good. Right, let's let's get moving. I will see you at the track. <laughs> Oh hey friends, so I finished the hurdles part of my training today just a little bit later than I had planned 
because I basically bumped into sorry it's very noisy with the cars but basically I bumped into a few people I knew and was just chatting and um, which was really lovely really lovely but it just meant that my recovery times were too long and um, but that's okay that's okay I feel like when it comes to hurdles because I enjoy it so much and because I love it so much I could literally just keep doing reps and end up doing too many so actually it's quite good when I get interrupted while hurdling because it means that I don't just keep hammering out reps and doing way too much contact time before I'm really ready so today I sprinted over the first hurdle for the first time so did the full eight strides to the first hurdle it felt super comfortable it felt way too close which is great so that means that I haven't lost too much strength in my legs and I'm getting stronger by God's grace and um, so yeah I think that is a good start so as you could see by those clips I'm still in trainers at the moment I'm still going over lower height hurdles than you know the full height um, but I'll get there I'll get there I want to just develop more um, stability more strength more tolerance I want more tolerance in my tendons and my ligaments I don't want to get any tendonitis so I'm just not rushing it I'm not gonna rush my sessions or rush my development just because you know I'm aware that at this point in the season I should probably be doing a little bit more and <laughs> um, so basically with athletics you tend to phase it and you plan your training in different blocks and stuff but I've just made it really simple for myself so I'm basically just gonna do each phase for as long as it takes and um, there's not necessarily one big competition that I'm aiming for what I am aiming for is to do a hundred meter sprints hurdles race without an injury and to run it to the best of my ability wow i'm shiny anyway let's go to the gym oh my goodness it's like half already but i'm not going to be negative because i don't do negativity i'm doing really well i've been to work i've been training god is with me my session went great now i'm going to the gym and i'm going to smash that out and it's okay it's okay if i'm running a little bit late <laughs> It is 10 past six. Small group, they said be there from half past six for seven. So that's not gonna happen. Currently heating up a meal prep in the microwave. I'm not gonna have time to work on the talk before small group. I think there will be food there. I do wanna make sure that I eat quite quickly. I'm not sure what time we'd be eating. So I'm gonna have a meal prep before I go and then just not eat hopefully not eat too much while there i know that i'm in good shape but i am carrying some extra weight right now which is unnecessary and unhelpful i'm not really on a diet but I, i'm just eating less so yeah i feel like i kind of only have time to shower before small group so while my food is in the microwave i'm gonna jump in the shower and then i'm gonna go to small group yeah, the gym sesh was good. It started to get more busy afterwards because I got there, you know, I was there at kind of when it starts filling up after work. 
but I don't know I feel like I do like it when um, it's empty <laughs> I don't know why I just feel more focused and I just get things done really quickly um, but yeah gym session was okay I did cut it a bit short I didn't do one of the circuits that I'd planned to do I just did weights and upper body um, so I think I will move that circuit to over the weekend um, because I do have some space to move things about at the moment. But yeah, I'm going to get up before I fall asleep, <laughs> even though I had my full eight hours. Like, I felt so awake at work today. Um, but right now I think I'm just hungry and I want a drink and I want a shower. So let's have the world's quickest shower. It is ten past six now. going to aim to be out of the door in half an hour. That's not going to happen. Ugh. Sorry, I literally ate that so fast that I forgot to film it. <laughs> so it was sweet potato <laughs> with broccoli, leek and turkey mint stew. Um, but now it just looks not that great. So apologies. Next time. Next time. Hello, I'm back from small group. It was amazing. It was great. But it is half ten and I'm very tired. So... I'm going to end the vlog and go to bed. Thank you for spending the day with me. I love you so much. I literally just need to get to bed. So I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what kind of videos you want to see. I need to get to bed.